Hi Leo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and we're here to do your weekly love reading for the week of March 19th through the 25th. Now these readings are love readings. We're just going to get one of these oracle cards and then we'll break into the tarot deck and this card will be revealed at the end. And since it flew out, we are good. Leo. What do we have for Leo? Please give us a nice positive message for these people. They don't want to hear the bad stuff. Please, please, please. Leo. What does Leo need to hear? God? You get what you give. This is about give and take. It's also about generosity. And I know you're a giver, right, Leo? You're a big giver. Sometimes you don't always receive. Looks like you have an exciting new opportunity. Maybe this there's some sort of you, or maybe you're being presented with some sort of challenge. You're being called to act on your hunches, and you probably are going to do it because this is in the upright position. You may be receiving some sort of gift. Okay, this is something usually on a tangible level. This could be money. It could be anything. But this is a gift. But you might be ready to give up on something, okay? Because this is quitting. This is giving up. Not practical. Hmm. Maybe you deserve something more. Because this is deserving. This is a new beginning, starting over, taking a risk. Yeah, I believe that you guys are, you're having some sort of hunch and you are being called to take a risk and have faith, take a leap of faith. There's some family feuds, huh? Seeing the light coming out of darkness. Quitting, seeing the light, seeing the truth of a situation, because something is not practical. And it's causing some family feuds, and you are being called to act on your hunches and take a risk. Because there's something to do with give and take, equality. Oh... Oh, mm. <laughs> well, we all know what that means, right? There's not love. I mean, you can't pretend that card means something different. And I know it's a struggle in that you are resisting change. That's what this card means. Somebody is resisting change. Refusing to see something from the right perspective. Not wanting to struggle through this change. They're in limbo. And it's time to let go. This is being stuck and it is time to let go of something that isn't really love. And you may be feeling 
I mean, I'm not sure. This is your energy. It's reversed. This is this energy is not good reversed. Okay, every all have negative traits. Okay, every single sign, every single person. But when you come up in reverse, it says that you're not thinking clearly. You're not making moves. You're lacking passion. You're lacking energy. You're lacking confidence. You're lacking courage. You're lacking vision. You're lacking drive. You're being unreasonable. And you're probably not communicating either. And this is your energy. And if you're looking for somebody to pretty up your reading, then I'm not your girl. So. It's a struggle, isn't it? It is a struggle. It's a struggle to face the truth, the light. There's definitely some family feuds. There's some kind of, you know, this it's some kind of dream that has died. And you are being called to start a new, to start a new journey. I'm not kidding. That's what this is. To master your emotions, put yourself in the driver's seat and get moving. This is forward men movement. Replace the fear with faith in both of these cards. You need to have faith. I think there's some sort of dying dream, and I know that I already said that, but this is the death of an idea but it's reversed so you may be th you may be coming out of seclusion you know what i mean you may be thinking about how am i going to handle this you may be coming to the grips with the truth cuz it's the end of a difficult time with this 5 of cups reversed when somebody gives up they stop putting energy and that's probably why you're reversed you stop putting energy into something You're definitely feeling withdrawn and or you have been feeling withdrawn. And I think this card is saying it's time to it's time to stand up for yourself. I mean there is. I mean you have to stand up for yourself. There's no doubt. You do have to stand up for yourself. You do. You need to you need to take this bull by the horns, okay? You need to you need to be assertive. Leo, you need to be that's what she is. She's assertive. She speaks her truth. She sees things from new perspective. She's wise and she's independent. And she doesn't hold back. I think what's been going on here is that somebody is bitter and angry. Could be an air sign. You could be dealing with an air sign. You have air sign. You have cancer. You have you, Aries and Sagittarius. I feel as though there's a lot of intense conflicts here. You're dealing with some in intense challenges and you're being called to speak your truth, to speak up, be honest, be just, and definitely be open to new perspectives with both these cards right here. There's definitely some feuds, okay? Definitely some fighting going on here.
and you know growth happens every day this right here is a new opportunity for growth a new partnership now hence the word new in capital letters capital N capital E capital W new okay this is a new partnership a new partner a new growth a new fertility a new passion it's time to find your passion it's time to renew your passion now I thought we had another ace yet yeah, we do we have three aces here but this ace of cups is reversed all right right here so you have three aces aces are one 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 it's also about independence here okay so you have independence a couple times um, your thoughts become things I think things are happening very quickly for you at this time but there's a lack of self-love and you have to love yourself a hundred percent before you can find happily ever after before you can find happiness so I feel like here there this is this reversed is selfishness no growth where you were at where this difficulty was whatever you're giving up on there was no growth whoever you were dealing with was smothering they were selfish and you're giving up on them it's the end of a difficult time and I think because you you give up on that you receive a new gift a new partner that leads to happiness some of you haven't reached this step because you're still stuck and hanging on I mean there's this is for hundreds and thousands of people and everybody's in different stages many of you are still here in limbo stuck unable to see the new approach unable to get off the tree unable to make a move unable to use your power to speak up to do the right thing resisting change I don't want to face the change that's lack of self-love somebody doesn't love themselves enough to make a move someone does somebody is acting on their hunches to in going after what they deserve and they're quitting they're giving up on a situation that has no growth so this is for two different people or three or four you know what I mean you know what I'm trying to say there's different it's for all different kinds of people some of you are still stuck some of you are giving up so that uh, something new can come in these are both new beginnings new 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 because there's been some deceit right some betrayal maybe it's you that you've been betraying yourself whether you've been betraying yourself or you've been betrayed by somebody there is betrayal here and I feel like it's time to be happy again right it is it's time to communicate your wishes it's time to do the right thing it's time to bring growth back back in it's time to get moving and I think I said earlier there's fast moving energy here there is there absolutely is so there, it's, it's a time to, to get on your horse and ride okay something needs to happen somebody needs to, to get moving I think there's an exciting new discovery new okay and someone is being called to act on their hunches and to put themselves in the driver's seat and put their pedal the you know their their pe the pedal to the metal okay it feels as though you know happiness is right around the corner it's in the future your ships are going to come in your ships will come in they will but you have to be practical you have to do the right thing you have to be responsible seriously this is the king of practical you have to be practical to find a practical commitment it feels as though
you guys are starting to realize you're starting to realize your goals and your ships will come in they will come in now if you're single because I keep saying new if you're single you could meet somebody at an event at some sort of gathering there could be a new love here at some sort of event where you know there's a lot of people people are together you know it doesn't have to be a big event it can be a small event but I feel like there could be some sort of new partnership with somebody that you could meet through a gathering or even through friends okay it looks like though you may you may you lack the energy son of a bitch Oh. Do you want love? I mean, is this is supposed to be a love reading? Or do you even care about love at this time? I mean, that's my question here. The Ace of Cups is reversed. It is. It's under here. It's reversed. Do you want love? Or do you... I mean, come on now. They're both reversed. I didn't make them reversed. Okay. I'm trying to help you guys. This is a negative energy. And you can't point the finger at me. And if you point the finger at me, that's your first problem. Alright. You can't place the blame on anybody. If you lack the energy and you lack the drive and you lack the passion and you lack the courage and you lack the confidence and you lack the strength to follow your hunches I can't help you <laughs> you aren't going to find the love of your life with this type of mentality okay you're not you're not who wants to be with somebody who doesn't communicate and doesn't feel good about themselves you need to flip these cards around and, and feel good you need to you need to find your self-worth you need to find your confidence you need to find your self-respect you need to find your energy I feel like there's a lot of there's a loss of concentration here a loss of focus a lack of balance a lack of harmony a lot of doubt Weakness. I mean, that's the that's what the cards mean reversed. And if you're if that's what you're projecting to the world, you're 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 passing on love. You are. It's like it's like you're passing on it, whether you know it or not. If you're sitting in bed crying, or you can't get out of bed, you can't get moving, whatever, whatever. And I'll, you know, I, it is what it is, right? It is what it is. I mean, I'm not going to pretty this up for people. I am not. I refuse. I feel like it is a time of, you know, communication, compromise, teamwork. But if you're in this mentality, then somebody's in trouble because there's a lack of teamwork. Teamwork is needed here. It, you know, you have to put energy into a relationship. Huh? Things are out of balance. I already told you that. There's lack of harmony and there's lack of balance. I think there's some extremes here too. In reverse, this is extremes. 
up and down. One minute you're happy, the next minute you're down in the dumps, can't get out of bed. Next minute you're running, running, then you're back in bed. Feeling ungrateful and procrastinating. A breakdown is imminent because the universe can't sit here and let this happen. They can't just sit here and watch this destruction. I mean, come on now. You're only hurting yourself. That seven of swords, that's you. You are deceiving yourself by letting yourself do unrealistic, feel unrealistic. I mean, the way that you're thinking is unrealistic. It's time to have fun. It's time to get up. It's time to do something. Go out with your friends. Let your friends help you. Let go of this negative energy. I feel like you guys have to give up on something that is bringing you down and you're holding on because you don't want, to, you're resisting change. You don't know what else is in front of you. So you're holding on to something. You, you want to give up on something but you can't give up because who knows you know I don't I don't care to know either but anyway you guys are holding on to something instead of looking at it from a new perspective you're completely stuck in a scenario that you don't want to be in and you're procrastinating with making a move when you have a lot of passion inside of you that you won't let come out you won't let come out for fear of what's gonna happen all right. I feel like you guys have a new beginning here. You're being you have an exciting new discovery and I think it's a it could be a, a new partner or something, but you can't take action because you're stuck someplace you don't want to be and you can't you can't make a move because of this fear and you don't lack the energy, you don't lack the courage, you don't lack you don't have the confidence, you know, that kind of thing. That's what it is. I mean with these you lack the confidence and the courage to make a move, even though you really do want to make a move. I see that you do. You, there's no growth in a relationship. There isn't. I mean, it's obvious that there isn't. And But the thing is, is that you have an opportunity for a new relationship, but you have to let go of the old one first. But you don't have the energy or the confidence and the courage to let go of the old one. Because you don't have the strength. You can't master your emotions at this time. There's a lot of doubt, right? You you have these doubts that whatever that there's anything new, stable, and secure is gonna come in. But there's no victory and success where you're at. So what the hell are you waiting for? You need to put effort into finding what you really want. Because I feel like you know you're you're resisting this change that needs to happen. You're resisting taking the next step. It's time to take the next step, but you won't. It's like there's no trust, there's no faith, there's no balance. You know, things are a little chaotic right now, and you need to drop something, and you really want to drop something, but you just won't. Unable to make a decision, a stable decision. Unable. I think you're in denial. That's what that means. You are in denial. That's what it means. Look it up. Somebody is in denial. Refusing to let go of sorrow. Unable to have wish fulfillment and relationship growth. It's time to take the lead.
there's there's hidden forces here, okay? What is it meant to be? It isn't meant to be. What is meant to be is meant to be. This right here is beyond your control, okay? There's cycles in life. What does the moon bring? The moon brings cycles. There's an end to every cycle. There's a beginning to every cycle. Many of you are living in fear of the unknown. That is why you are staying stuck. You are stuck in a spot because you don't know what's going to happen in the future and you're afraid to take action. You, it's time to act now, think later. Act on your hunches. Do the right thing. Take the lead. Be the boss of your own life. You guys are having major power struggles. You need to let go of your ego. Let go of your ego. It's not about proving yourself, okay? It's about being happy. It's not about proving yourself to anyone. If you make mistakes, you make mistakes. Everybody in this world does. We all make mistakes. I think you were dealing with something that, or somebody that is very manipulative, controlling. And, you know, I feel like you have to stand up for yourself at this time. Okay? It's time for you to stand up for yourself, Leo. Let this uh, pity party, and I know I've said this before, but hey, and <laughs> it's time to walk away from that, to walk away from that mentality that you're not good enough, you're not worthy, whatever. You deserve. That's the first card that came out. You deserve what you give. Right? Anyhow, I feel like this is a week of standing up for yourself. You need to stand up for yourself. Stop feeling like you're not good enough and that you can't do it and whatever. Whatever it is. I feel like you have an opportunity to find somebody new if you would put yourself out there. Go have some fun. Go out with your friends. Let your friends help you. Do whatever you got to do. Your friends can help you. You ready? Forgiveness, nothing can be gained by holding on to past disappointments. <laughs> Unbelievable. Wow. That's all. I, I can't even say another word. So, um, there's your reading. Talk to you later.